the price you pay for bringing up my dehydrated potato heritage as a negative is. I collect your freaking head. Hi, welcome to Fine Dining. I'm Jen. And I'm Drew. Today we're going to try something new and let you know whether the dining is fine or should be left behind. So what's on the menu? So today we have Oishi potato fries. Oishi? That sounds like one of our favorite characters from the movie Kill Bill from Quentin Tarantino. Hence, the opening. Very meta. <laughs> okay, so these came from the Asian store. We love the Asian store. They were uh, one of our favorite things because it came in a really small bag and it was only a dollar. <laughs> we basically buy anything from the Asian store if it's a dollar. <laughs> yeah. So these come from, these are imported from the Philippines. Our first Philippine review. And they have a pretty green and red bag. Their tomato ketchup flavor, it says. We love tomato ketchup flavor. I don't know what other kind of ketchup there is, but <laughs> this says tomato ketchup flavor. <laughs> <laughs> so, they look good. I think we should try them. I think we should. You know, tomato ketchup fries, there was a thing at Trader Joe's a couple of years back that we were big fans of, and mm -hmm. then they took it away. They were another yeah. dried potato. They looked even more like fries than these. Yeah. Although these do look like fries. They look kind of like they were super battered. and Yeah, like Rally's fries. Right. Rally's checkers. Checkers, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> checkers. With well, depends, checkers fries. Depends where you are in the country, I think. Yeah. So, the... But the ones from Trader Joe's, they were called Spud Crunchies, which what, is a great name. Way better name. Mm -hmm. They have plain ones and ketchup ones, but the ketchup ones, we didn't see those this year. Yeah. And they were really good. Why would you want a plain one when there's a ketchup one? This is like we're finally getting things that are like the Canadian version. Canadian has the right. ketchup chips forever. They're yeah. freaking delicious. I, I know we're always talking about bold flavors here on Fine Dining, but there's something to be said for a humble condiment such as ketchup. Oh yeah, ketchup and fries. What's more American than that? Exactly. From the Philippines. <laughs> From the Philippines. Mm -hmm. What's more American than that? <laughs> okay, that is tangy and delicious. It really is. It is evoking taking a french fry, a crispy french fry, mm -hmm. and dipping it in ketchup. Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting there in the car, you don't want to be dipping your french fries in ketchup. Right, it's too hard. Whereas this is doing all the heavy lifting for you. It's just like ketchup in that it has the tangy and the sweet taste. Yep. And the fry itself, I mean, you can tell that it is made out of dehydrated potato. We're not bringing up its heritage as a negative, though. Right. But it is good. It's good in that dehydrated potato yeah, I mean, kind of way. Pringles are a dehydrated potato. So. Right. <laughs> and I think the... The Trader Joe's Spud Crunchies we talked about yeah. were that. Maybe they all have to be. In. Mm -hmm. So they're really cute and fun shape, just like fries. And they have a really good flavor. Yeah, I mean, we prefer our French fries well done. So this is doing what we like in a fry. Kind of tastes True. like you had a well done fry that was like sitting there for a while. Maybe a little too well done or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Got over crunched, but then... It's serendipity. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Um, so, I I don't know if they have other flavors of these, but they probably do. Yeah, we didn't see any. But um, I would get these over the plain ones, though. Oh yeah, definitely. These I like this. I like this particular tomato ketchup flavor. Yes. Hmm. It it just has a little zing to it. Um, they're pretty, like we said, looking like checkers fries. I mean, yeah, this actually seems. I'm like gonna keep eating them. If fine dining had children, we'd put a little baggie of those in our kids. I don't see why a kid wouldn't like that mm -hmm. ketchup and fry. Mm -hmm. So, hmm. these are normal type chip calories, 150 calories per serving. It does say that there are two servings in this tiny bag, which is uh, a uh, lie. Uh, <laughs> it's just a lie. Although, I don't know. I guess we could share this bag. I mean, we could. 
Yeah, so even though it has that sweet taste, there's only one added sugar, three sugars total. No, that's not bad at all. Yeah, and the sodium is low too, so. All right, you get your sweet fix without mm -hmm. a bunch of added sugars, good stuff. Yeah, these are, these are, I think kids would like these too. Yeah, these, these should be mm -hmm. expanded to regular Kroger mm -hmm. type. Kroger, Walmart, Aldi. There should be an Aldi version of that. Yeah, and I, I hope that Trader Joe's will bring back these Spud Crunchies too. Yeah. You know what else? There was those Andy Cat fries from when I was a kid back mm -hmm. in 1832. And <laughs> I think structurally... I think they still make those. Oh, some, they? Don't they? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they're called something else. I think they're called something else, maybe. Right. They didn't have ketchup, but they were like a dehydrated fry and... It's kind yeah. of bringing back some childhood memories. Yeah, in fry shape. It's, I mean, I know I already said this word, but it's kind of fun. Well, yeah. I mean, chips are all chip shaped. Mm -hmm. Why not get that same sensation, but in a different form? Right. Okay, so we need to give it a, rate, a oh, yes. rating. We certainly do. Okay, so I think I'll give it a seven. I'm going to give it an eight. Okay. I'm going to go high because it's. Chips are good. This is bringing something different to the table, and I respect that it's it's not going for some. We love crazy flavors, and you give us a kung pao Dorito, we're all over it. But sometimes you just want ketchup and a French fry, and this is mm -hmm. perfect simplicity. Two ingredient. Mm -hmm. I mean, it probably has forty seven ingredients. Oh yeah, at least forty seven. <laughs> it tastes like a two ingredient. It's hitting exactly what I would want for dipping a fry in ketchup. Yeah. So they get extra kudos for that. Yeah. And 99 cent bag. Always a good thing. Can't beat it. Right. So if you see these around or something like it. Give it a go. Yeah. I think you should. And again, why not bring more ketchup flavor to our crunchy snacks? Yeah. America. We need regular chips, ketchup flavored, kettle, ridgy. Yeah. Why not? The, the, the options are endless. Canada knows what they're doing there, and we are slipping far, far behind. Right. And it's unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I choked my wife to death. <laughs> it's not spicy. <laughs> okay, so if you see these around, I think you should give them a try. They're definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're definitely worth the 99 cents <laughs> that we paid. Got nothing to lose. <laughs> So we will see you next time on Fine Dining. Fine Dining, y'all.